it's enjoying continued economic growth as the country posted 5.01% growth in the first quarter of this year. However, to ensure the momentum of recovery and steady economic growth in Indonesia, the Institute for Development of Economics and Finance, or INDEF, is urging the Indonesian government to delay the price increases in electricity and fuel. To ensure the momentum of recovery and steady economic growth in Indonesia, the Institute for Development of Economics and Finance, or INDF, is urging the Indonesian government to delay the price increases in electricity and fuel. According to INDF, despite Indonesia's substantial growth this first economic quarter of 2022, more can be done to optimize economic recovery. In the first quarter of 2022, Indonesia's economy grew by 5.1%, marking a continuous and steady economic growth amid the improving COVID-19 conditions in Indonesia. The director of the Institute for Development of Economics and Finance, or INDF, Eko Listianto, believes that Indonesia's first quarter growth was a good achievement. However, he highlighted that the Indonesian government's spending is still lower than in recent years. Many ministries and institutions are halting spending, even though, according to Listianto, government spending can significantly contribute to growth, as he believes that the government should increase their spending to boost the economy. Ya, kami INDEF ingin ini ya uh, menagih nih kontribusi pemerintah ini harusnya di tengah pemulihan ekonomi ini juga harus lebih signifikan ya. Oke, okay, memang tidak akan bisa mengalahkan uh, katakanlah ekspor ataupun juga kontribusi dari. PMTB atau bahkan konsumsi, tetapi lajunya itu ya jangan kira-kira ya jangan hanya sekitar lima setengah persen seperti triwulan pertama begitu. Nah kami melihat uh, upaya ini bisa dilakukan antara lain dengan memupus tradisi untuk belanja di triwulan keempat saja ya separuh dari anggaran itu dibelanjakan baru di triwulan keempat. Nah kalau ini kita bisa geser lebih cepat misalkan ya nanti di triwulan dua ini dan juga di triwulan tiga. Saya yakin impact ke ekonominya lebih tinggi. Meanwhile, the head of INDF Center of Macroeconomics and Finance, Rizal Taufiqur Rahman, adds that to maintain the momentum of economic recovery and growth, the government should create policies that will stimulate growth instead of hinder it, one of them being inflation. Taufiqur Rahman is also urging the government to delay the administered price increases in electricity, fuel oil, and three kilograms of liquefied petroleum gas or LPG canisters. Ini maknanya adalah sudah berkali-kali harga naik ya akibat dari berbagai kebijakan yang notabene uh, ber, apa disebabkan oleh uh, kebijakan uh, yang 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 dilakukan oleh bidang fiskal. Nah, apalagi berkaitan dengan uh, harga energi itu ya, dan ini yang secara langsung akan berdampak terhadap uh, apa namanya daya beli masyarakat. Oke itu sekali lagi ya, urgen tahan dulu ya untuk kebijakan menaikkan harga BBM tadi ya tiga komoditas energi itu dan saya kira uh, masih ada uh, berbagai alternatif kebijakan yang bisa mendorong pertumbuhan ekonomi ya uh, tanpa harus uh, membebani masyarakat. The rise in energy prices include electricity tariffs and will affect consumption levels in households as all of this has a significant impact on economic growth. Meanwhile, household consumption in the first quarter only grew by 4.34%, when in fact, the target growth for household consumption is above 5%.